All right, so this is our line bot. His name is Max. He's pretty awesome, and it's better than your line bot. Basically, what I ended up doing when we were uh, getting ready to work on the project was I went online, I found uh, like these Arduino tutorials just to kind of get ideas about what materials and stuff that we would need, and I found the chassis, and I looked at some other stuff to to compare and figure out whether or not we would get a chassis or just kind of wing it and get our own stuff. So basically, I figured it would be a good idea to get this, get this chassis because it comes with the battery pack that's right in here. It comes with the motors underneath. It has the wheels and everything. It comes with all the screws that are needed to assemble it and all that other jazz and good stuff. And it was pretty self-explanatory. I think there are a lot of pictures there's, to figure out how it all went together. And it was, it seems pretty simple overall um, and the design is nice and compact and blah 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 and important stuff I guess uh, besides that we I thought about getting one of the line sensors that was pre-built but we opted to go for the soldering if you can see that this is all soldered and assembled by hand and my understanding is that this is um, difficult to do, although it seems to work just fine. Um, yeah, so that's a basic. All right. Design. Well, this is a uh, little uh, picture of the sensor board that I assembled here. Uh, basically, it has five uh, infrared sensors and detectors on the back side of it. It's a uh, back here. Those those lights, and then if you look on on here you can see that there were four wires attached that to those sensors already that I stuck through the board and uh, soldered in and then clipped off. The top two were for the uh, light, the very top soldering, and then the bottom two were for the detector. And the, the leftmost of the two, the emitter and detector, needed to be attached to ground through a resistors and that's what these are. The resistors run down to here and connected to each other and then on the back side of the board uh, all these spots here, 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 and here are attached to ground and then run down here ground through the green wire and then are attached to ground on the board. And then with the red, that's the power. It's sending power to the two right ones. It sends power to the emitter and the detector for the LED for the infrared and then uh, these black wires are connected to uh, the sensor and it takes the readings and sends it to the board and all these wires are all soldered in and then soldered down here and then connected back through. Now here's the uh, whole picture of the uh, bot again. Here's the sensor board that I just showed you. As you can see here underneath, the wires are connected. They're soldered to the board in here. They connect it and they run underneath the board and come up and are soldered to the uh, motor shield up here at the top which is plugged into the uh, Arduino. The Arduino is mounted on the top. I just screwed that in there because I figured that would be a good spot to put it. Battery packs in the middle and basically you, you plug this in to power it and once you power it then you can set it down and it goes as soon as it detects a line. Here's the wires for the uh, left and right motor. I plugged it into M1 and M2. The motors are here on the bottom and are attached to the wheels and here's the wires coming out and then this is just a little wheel in the back to help stabilize it so that it'll stand up and uh, basically that's it just assembled all the pieces together and uh, only one thing that I had to figure out is how I was gonna mount the sensor board on because there's really no place for it so I drilled holes into the plastic here and here and then uh, put a nut here to attach the attached the screw to it and then I also drilled holes in the board and attached it with nuts and that's basically all of the assembly that was required. Alright so lastly uh, the code that runs this basically I just took what was given on the uh, the book for Arduino I pretty much copied most of what he had there I changed around a few of the uh, names of the variables and whatnot but uh, most of it was about the same and I changed the thresholds around a little bit but basically what the code does is these black lines that I these black wires that I put on that send the readings up to here basically what that's doing is these are the uh, infrared light is 
emitting infrared and then it's whatever it's hitting it's bouncing it back up and being detected by the detectors in the bottom and depending on what it detects if it's a lower threshold then it's going to be on more of a dark surface or the black line in this case and then higher is a lighter surface so depending on which sensor is reading what threshold it's going to tell over here the it's on the left and it needs to get the thing back to the right it's going to tell the right motor to spin so that it readjusts itself and gets back on track and the vice versa depending on which side it's on so it's going to sort of wobble back and forth until it gets to the end of the line and then also at the very end of the uh, code I put that if all the sensors read black then it'll just shut down so if there's like a black square and it hits that then the, all the motors will just stop and it'll just rest and that's basically what I'll do. Alright this is Max I'm going to show what he can do this is awesome and I'm filming it. Right. Watch the magic. Here he goes. And stop. Boom. Boom.